Okay, so we are now here in Amritsar, in Punjab, and we have again caught up with Sundalal Bahugana after several days of uh, separation. And we're interested to understand the origin of the Chipko movement. There's two stories that are told. One, uh, both of them concern the Simmons Company that was a sporting goods manufacturer who had come to the hills for the purpose of cutting trees, particularly the ash trees. But the ash trees were necessary for, uh, for fodder and uh, for implements like yokes for oxen and so on. And so the people didn't want these trees cut. And uh, there's two stories. One is that Chandra Prasad Bhatt said, let them, let us hug the trees, let them know that they will not cut one tree without cutting one of us down. The other story is that there was a woman in the group who spoke and said the leopard, when a leopard comes to the village, it is the mother who cradles her child in her arms to protect her, which is the true story. You know, to some extent, both stories have some, some truth, because uh, when in the forest of Mandal, the government auctioned some ash trees to a sports good company, Simon Company. Uh -huh. So, Chandi Prasad Bhatti had a block level organization in Gopeshwar. Uh -huh. And he came to us, uh, what should we do because the trees are being taken away. So we had Mr. Ghansyam Sailani, a folk singer. Uh -huh. So he, myself and Ghansyam Sailani, they traveled from Uttarkasi to Gopeshwar. Uh -huh. And on the way, Ghansyam Thailani was a singer, folk singer. Folk singer. And he would go with his harmonium. Uh -huh. So at Rudruya, he, he he stood up on the roof of the bus. He went up on the roof of the bus. Uh, I see. And he started singing. Singing? Uh, and he said, Chipka pedon par abna katiyan dea, jangalu ki sampati abna lutiyan dea. Which means? You know, hug the tree. Uh -huh. Don't allow the tree to be cut. Uh -huh. And don't allow the wealth of the forest to be robbed. I see. So, in this way, eh? uh, uh, he said, oh, brothers and sisters, let us come together and save the forest from government's policy. Uh -huh. So, in this way, the word was first pronounced by Ghansyam Sailani uh -huh. in one of his songs. Uh -huh. Uh, and he composed that song bus. on the spot, yes, yes, on the roof yes, of that yes, bus. Yes, 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 yes. And that was the year 1973? 73, yes. I see. So then we went to Gopeshwar, uh -huh. and uh, in Gopeshwar, uh, Chandi Prasadji organization, the Holy Gram Swaraj Sangh, uh -huh. they wanted as wood uh -huh. or half-made cricket bats. I see. Which were to be sent to Simon Company for finishing. I see. So their demand was that we should be given this. I see. Tree. I see. Whereas I see. the woman of that the village woman, she she was very much uh, worried uh -huh. that what will happen to our cattle? Uh -huh. Because as leaves were the scarcity season fodder uh -huh. to the cattle, uh -huh. when there is no fodder anywhere. I see. If the trees are cut, what will happen? And then their yokes uh -huh. were made out of that. I see. So the people's concern was this. I see. And uh, Bhattiji's concern was that their organization should get I see. for half-finished bats. I see. So in this way, the word came first from the folk singer Gansyam Sailani. Uh -huh. And then as the idea is spread in the area, a lady said that uh, if they cut the tree, we will hug the tree. I see. And, uh, after Ghansyam Sailani's song. Uh -huh. So the women thought that we should hug the tree. So, so in this was... end, from there, the government suspended cutting of trees in that area and then they shifted it to other area. And then we went to the other area, I see. the valley of Mandakini. Uh -huh. From Alkunna Valley, we went to Mandakini Valley. Okay. And there was Kedar Singh, one worker, social worker, 
He said we will also hug the trees here. I see. So in this way, the movement spread. I but see. Uh, in the beginning, this movement was against the contractors I see. and exploitation of forests by outsiders. But later on in Himal Valley, uh, when people started the movement, uh -huh. then they put sacred thread around the trees and they said that uh, we will hug the trees, you won't allow them to cut the tree. And there this slogan came, what do the forest bear? Soil, water and pure air. Soil, water and pure air are the basis of our life. Okay. Now that, here, uh, that uh, slogan was actually in Hindi. In Hindi, yes. Kya hai jangal ke upkar, mitti paani aur bayar. Upkar, mitti paani aur bayar, jinda rehne ke aadhar. Um, but these women would not have spoken Hindi as their first language, right? Yes. They spoke Hindi as their first language? They spoke no, Garwali as their first language. they spoke Garwali, but they could raise slogans in Hindi. They could raise slogans in Hindi, yeah. because they knew that Hindi was the language that, would be, that the contractor would know. Uh, and so, so that slogan was generated by the women, or by you and the women together, or was it uh, sort of... How did that slogan get begun? How did that slogan get started? Yes, the slogan began during the yatra, during the troubles. I see. Well, from the songs of Ganshan Sailani and from our I thinking. See. It was I a see. common effort. A common effort, yes. a joint effort. Yes. yes. There were Kumar Prasoon and Dhum Singh Negi, yes. the workers of Himal Valley. Yeah. So Vijay Jardari, there were so many workers. I see. So it is a joint effort. I see. So from the very beginning, mm. there was a kind of division between the participants from Chamoli, mm. that would be Chandra Bhatt's group, and um, and your group, uh, centered in Terry and Himalvali. No, the movement was one, the but you know it. Uh, the vision was different. I see. Their vision was different in what yes, way? Yes, their vision was only to get forest products for local industry. I see. In the beginning. I see. But uh, our vision developed. I see. Here. So your vision was very much in concert with that vision to begin with. You also wanted to generate forest industries at the beginning. Is that correct? Yes, in the beginning we, we were against the felling of trees by the contractors uh -huh. and we made forest labor cooperatives. Uh -huh. And when we saw that either the labor cooperative fells the tree or the contractor it makes no difference, then we reached at this, at this conclusion that trees in the hills should not be felled. I see. Yes. So that the it idea... It was a, a gradual development. I see. And was your own thinking on that uh, influenced by ecological writings, by environmental writings from outside? Uh, no, or was it I don't largely think. from your analysis of what was needed in the hills? Yes, it was not from the outside uh -huh. influence, but uh, it was uh, what we thought that what we need in the hills. I see. And that was the question of permanent economy and temporary economy. I see. By felling of trees, you can get employment for some time. I see. But if trees are stunning, you get uh, permanent employment. I see. I see. So the idea is to have permanent employment and yes. not temporary. Yes. And uh, the temporary employment, of course, is what simply exploits the trees, takes them away, and when they're gone, then the jobs are gone. Yes. Because yes. the resources are gone. Uh, resource is gone and the soil is eroded. Eroded. And the water sources are dried up. I see. So in this way, it developed slowly. Yeah. 